Hi everyone, hope this vlog finds you all in the best of health. This is Mads and I also have Addy with me. Addy say hi. Hi. Today we will be doing the sink or float experiment. For this experiment, first I'll tell you what all supplies are required. You just need a bowl or a container. Fill it halfway through with water. The supplies that we are using here, you can take any other toys or things available at home. We are taking a plastic ball. A metal utensil, a metal coin, few bath toys, straw, few keys here, a toy aeroplane and Lego blocks. So if you want you can pause this video right now, gather your supplies and you can do the experiment with us. So let's get started. What do you want to put first in the water? Duck. Duck. Okay, put. Put. Oh, it's floating. If you see the duck has not sunk to the bottom, it is floating on top of the water. Wait. Can you think that why the duck is floating on top of the water? Do you know the reason? No. That's okay. Okay, what next do you want to put? Froggy. Okay, froggy. The frog is also floating. Okay, do you want to try putting a coin? Yes. We are putting a coin now in the water. Let's see. Put the coin. Oops. Oh, the coin has sunk to the bottom. It is not floating. Oh, do you want to put metal utensil? Yes. The bowl? Yes. Okay, try putting that. Floating. This is, yes, it's floating. Next what? Okay, put the Lego. Yeah, the Legos are also floating on top of the water. Yeah, put the ball. That also has not sunk. Okay. What else? Okay, put the straw. You can also use a popsicle stick in place of straw. Just put it. Okay. Okay. Put the keys. Keys, keys. Hmm. Put in the water. No. Put it anywhere in the water. Put. So the keys have sunk to the bottom they have gone down now we are left with the toy aeroplane let's see put the toy aeroplane no space oh, there is a lot of space put it anywhere in the water put. oh this is also floating right mm -hmm. if you're doing this experiment with your toddlers or preschoolers then at times they associate it with the weight of the object like heavy objects they sink at the bottom the light objects they float on the water however if you're doing this experiment with your old kids you can very well explain them the concept of density with the help of sink or float experiment density is based upon how closely or far the molecules are attached in an object so if an object is floating on the water, that means that it is less dense than water. And if the object has sunk down to the bottom of the container like the coin or the keys that we used here, then that means that they are higher in density as compared to the water. So this is one of uh, the easiest experiments to explain the concept of density to your kids. Do give us a thumbs up if you like watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. We will be meeting you all very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.